Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Wherever you are and whatever time zone you may be in, thank you for joining me in Listen Up Coffee Time. We've been learning about the godly paradigm shift to acknowledge God's absolute lordship. And we're learning about the practical ways to acknowledge God's absolute lordship by disciplining ourselves with the divine habit of ALDO, A-L-D-O. Ask, listen, discern, and obey. ALDO, A-L-D-O. A. Ask God for everything. L. Listen to God. D. Discern accurately. O. Obey if it's God. This is acknowledging God's absolute lordship through the divine habit and discipline. First, ask God for everything. And after you ask God for everything, then you just stop and listen to God. First step in listening to God, be quiet. Second step in listening to God, wait patiently. Third step in listening to God, listening. How must we listen to God? And how does God speak to you? And in what ways does God speak to you? Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> Before I go on, I must define and clarify the difference between hearing and listening. Merriam-Webster dictionary defines like this. Hearing is a process, function, or power of perceiving sound. Listening, on the other hand, means to pay attention to sound, to hear something with a thoughtful attention and give consideration. While hearing is a passive act, listening is an uh, active, voluntary act. Therefore, when I say to ask God first and listen to Him, it requires our active free will action to pay attention to what God is saying and give thoughtful attention and act accordingly. In short, if it's accurately discerned that it's God speaking to you, then you must obey. Having said all this, then how does God speak to you? Let's turn to the Bible. 1 King 19, 11 through 13. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? The King James Version says, Still small voice. Friends, if you're busy running ahead of God, or if you're busy just hearing all kinds of sound without paying close attention to what God is saying to you, then you would miss his still small voice. Gentle whisper. So just shut down. And instead of just hearing what you want to hear, please pay close attention to God and actively listen to what He's saying to you. So often, instead of speaking to us in audible voice, as in the case of Elijah, God often speaks to us through inspiration in our hearts. And God typically uses the following methods to either speak or to inspire us. First, through, through the Word. Second, through people. Third, through dreams. Fourth, through situation. Let me explain one more time. First, through His Word. As you read and meditate on His, on His Word, certain words or phrases may just jump at you. Oftentimes, that's when God is either speaking or inspiring you. When this happens, just write down what you're inspired and continue to ask God to clarify what that means before you can proceed with the next course of action. Second, through people. God may speak or inspire you through people. It could be a sermon by a pastor, it could be a testimony of a believer, or even just an everyday mundane conversation between people. But God is always, always communicating His will to us using every available method. Third, through dreams. Bible is full of stories about how God communicated His will to His people through dreams, such as Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, Daniel, and other prophets, and even Joseph, the adoptive father of Jesus, Peter, Paul, John, and so forth. 
and sometimes even to non-believers such as King Abimelech, Jacob's uncle Laban, King Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar, wife of Pontius Pilate, and so on and so forth. Fourth, God may speak to you, inspire you through situations. God may speak to you or inspire you using all the creation to communicate His will for us. For example, God may use available media such as TV, radio, news, movies, music, internet, YouTube, Instagram, and so on and so forth. But all these medias don't have to be the Christian medium either. God could use even secular media such as secular TV, TV secular radio programs, secular movies, music, and so forth. Sometimes God just communicates to us using street signs, weather, birds, flowers, trees, wind, and so on and so forth. God can and will use all the available means for He is the creator of everything and He is firmly in control of everything and using everything to communicate His will for us for our benefit. However, however, not everything is of God. As I shared with in the past, there are three spirits that may speak or inspire you. God, myself, or devil. Therefore, just because you heard something or inspired a certain way, please don't presume it's always God. Therefore, before you can proceed with anything, we must discern it accurately. God so desires to communicate so clearly to us more than we want to hear Him clearly. Because God created us to accomplish His perfect will in and through our lives, God becomes responsible to communicate His will and plans clearly to us. Therefore, if you don't clearly understand it, then please continue to ask God to communicate to you in a way that you could clearly hear or be inspired. You could ask something like this, Lord, please communicate to me so that I can hear you clearly. Until I'm absolutely sure, 1,000, 1 million percent beyond shadow of doubts, I just wait and continue to ask God to communicate clearly to me. Friends, when you think about it, it's rather simple. If God wants me to accomplish His will, then He is more in hurry than I am. Why should I be anxious to do His will when He does not communicate clearly to me? <laughs> Therefore, please ask God for everything, then just shut down. And instead of passively hearing what he is saying to you, actively listen to what and how he is communicating his will through all the available means before you can proceed with the next course of action. This is the second step of ALDO, ALDO, listen to God. Afterward, we must discern whether it's God or not. How? I'll share with you next time. As we close, I have a daily homework and realization application homework. Please watch today's episode at least a few more times and please share with others. Realization application, now that you know the importance of asking God for everything and actively listening to God, please admit, surrender and repent of our disrespectful actions in the past and please commit to put this into practice by asking God for everything in every situation and actively listen to it. As we close, would you mind repeating after me at the Legion of Prayer? Precious Father, I surrender and repent of my disrespectful act in the past. Now that I know the truth, I pl please speak to me or inspire me so clearly so I can obey. Please speak to me or inspire me the way I can clearly hear and listen and obey. Help me, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Listen up. Coffee Time is found on Just Jesus' YouTube channel. And I want to invite you to grow together as we listen to the Heart of God through the Word of God. Everyone, we love you. We're so proud of you as we grow together in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And let's just continue to hold on to Jesus no matter what. Thank you. We love you. And we'll see you next time. God bless you. I'm the sun, and I'm your